Today sees a stay on the London Film Festival train as Hollywood heavyweights Chiwetel Ejiofor and Steve McQueen touch down in the UK capital as their epic drama 12 Years a Slave took its bow. And although not officially released on these shores until January, it was great to have the magic makers in town to tell us about their experiences bringing the story of Solomon Northup to life. Well, boy, how you feel now? My name is Solomon Northup. I'm a free man. And you have no right whatsoever to detain me. You're no free man. You're nothing but a Georgia runaway. For me, the focus of the film was always on, on Solomon Northup and, and attempting to connect as much as I could to his, um, to his journey and his character. Part of that was laid out in the, in the biography, in his biography, uh, and so there were a lot of clues there to um, his very specific characteristics. But in some of the things that he endured, you know, I was able to then um, sort of try and connect in, a very, in, as, in any way that I could to how he may have felt in any given moment. And, uh, and that was a real privilege in a way, you know, the, the, to feel the sense of, of any kind of connection to, to, um, to what he went through, seeing as we were trying to do sequences, some of the sequences, as close as we could possibly do to, um, to what he describes um, in, the, in the book. Days ago, I was with my family in my home. Now you tell me all is lost. Tell no one who I am. That's the way to survive. Well, I don't want to survive. I want to live. Well, if I was to make the book, um, you know, that, 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 that was pretty extreme, and the book is pretty extreme. But, you know, my responsibility is this. Either I'm making a film about slavery or I'm not. And I decided that I wanted to make a film about slavery. And if you make a film about slavery, you have to understand why people were incarcerated in this particular way. Uh, in, in a, sorry, incarcerated, so, so were in bondage in this kind of way for 400 years. It was through mental and physical torture, in a way. And, you know, this, it's a world event. It's a huge hole in the canon of film. It's just sometimes it's a huge hole in people's minds that they don't want to think about. But in order to bring it to the fore, people have to remember, you know, why, I'm, why I, as an individual, am sitting here today. I'm here as an individual because some m members of my family went through slavery. Fact. Um, and it's to be respected. It's not like I wasn't aware of, of Steve and his films, you know what I mean? So I, you know, you know, uh, so, you know, I knew that he would go to all the places that you'd have to go to, you know, and, uh, and, I, and that's what I wanted, you know, to tell this story. I just thought that that's the only way, I mean, it sort of it comes back to something we were talking about earlier, you know, it's the only, you, you can, in a way, you can't tell a story about slavery unless you tell it, you know, that's it. And, uh, and so you're going to have to, um, you know, it's like, you know, people talk about sort of violence and stuff, but you, it's sort of weird to me because it's a strange handicap if you're not, if you can't talk about violence in a film about slavery. You're not going to do justice to any of the people involved. You're not saying you're not going to do justice to Solomon Northup and, and what he went through. You know, it, uh, it's, um, it, you know, it's like doing that about the Second World War or something, but you can't shoot anybody. You know, it's, it's not, you can't tell these stories without these major parts of what they are. And I, and I read that and I read, and I read into that. You know, I read into the, into the script that there was obviously going to be this kind of, these, these sort of struggles that he went through and then um, I was, I wanted to embrace that. I was excited about that. And that servant that don't obey his Lord shall be beaten with many stripes. That's scripture. The condition of your laborers, it's all wrong. They're my property. You say that with pride. I say it as fact. Speak! Man does how he pleases with his property. <laughs> you come here. I say come here! Days ago, I was with my family in my home. Now you tell me all is lost. If you want to survive, do and say as little as possible. My soul arising. Well, I don't want to survive. For the year when I want to live. I think what we had, um, what we had was a, a wonderful crew. I mean, the support of the crew from, you know, uh, from, from the catering, I said before, I said this before, from catering to makeup, wardroom, you know, here, camera department, sound department, 
gaff, gaffers, electricians, grips. I mean, all these, all of us came together, and it was almost like it was, it was, it was, it was, it was our film. So, with that kind of support um, structure, that kind of camaraderie, that kind of family, everyone having a claim on the film, a stake in the film, um, it, it, it was such a supportive atmosphere that it allowed the actors to sort of, you know, go there, as it were, to 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 risk and to try and, and to fail, of course, and to feel better and to sort of go for it, whatever it is what well, they, they were trying to go for. It. There were no restrictions, there, were no, there was no censorship. And that environment allowed that to happen, and I think it was, just, it was beautiful. It was, it was really a lot of love on that set. It was, it was, it was beautiful. I will survive! I will not fall into despair! I will keep myself hardy till freedom is opportune! Thank you.